Tonight, we're getting in the zone. The Kel zone. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is make our dough. And we're gonna start with four cups of water at 98 degrees. Yeah, just like that 90s boy man, you know? I do cherish... Uh, sorry, sorry. I don't own the copyrights to that music, so... As much as you'd like to hear me sing, let's start cooking. From the depths of my soul... Sorry, I keep feeling myself. We'll cook now. So we're going to add four cups of 98 degree water to our bowl. And then to that, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half of yeast. And that is a good bit of yeast, but this is a quick dough. It's going to be ready in about 45 minutes. To that, we're going to add a teaspoon of sugar. The, the yeast loves sugar. It's going to eat it up, start bubbling real nice for us. Now we're just going to wait for a little activity from our yeast. Look at those little yeasty explosions. Now we're going to start adding our flour. Now that our yeast is nice and activated, we're going to start adding some flour. I got eight cups of flour here. And to begin, I'm going to add about half of it. Stirring it in. Now this doesn't have to be perfectly smooth. I'm just going to let that sit for five minutes before I add the second half. I've waited so long. Oh, no, sorry. Just waited the scheduled five minutes. So now it's time to go in with the rest of our flour. I'm just going to pour that in while I stir. I don't want to go too fast with this. I don't want it to seize up on me. I want that flour to incorporate nicely. So I won't make you watch this whole process. Alright, our flour is in there. So now... I'm going to go in with two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil and two teaspoons of salt. And I'm just going to stir, stir, stir. That's what we're looking for right there. I got my KitchenAid stand mixer here. And this is a little too much dough. For the motor to take I don't want to abuse my motor so I'm going to take half of this and go right in there it's a high hydration dough so it's a little sticky now we're going to take our dough hook get that on there Lock her down. Go on speed two for five minutes. That's our first round, and as you can see, it's pretty wet. I'm gonna scoop that out onto a lightly floured table and start our second round. Now, working with a dough at this high of a hydration, it's hard because it's so sticky, and you don't want to keep flouring your hands because it adds more and more flour to the dough, which we're not trying to do because we want. A lot of hydration so I got a little flour on the table but so it doesn't stick to my hands I'm gonna dip them in a little water and then only a little sticky so I can dip and then scrape my dough out oh, it's starting to stick I'm back in the water Without getting covered in dough, you can get a little bit. It's all right. Now we're going to do our second batch. Now we got both of our halves conjoined. And I'm just going to take my dough scraper, kind of fold them into each other, make everything, make sure everything's incorporated evenly. Okay. Now we're going to go back into a, our bowl. Let it rise about 45 minutes to an hour until it doubles in size. 
got my bowl here. Just gonna scrape it up. Oh. Boom. There you go. So now we'll just cover that with a towel. Let that sit until it doubles in size. Now while we're waiting for our dough to rise, let's make a little dipping sauce, huh? We'll go in our pan with some extra virgin olive oil. Let that get hot for just a second. Then we're going to go in with half of a yellow onion diced and two cloves of minced garlic. We'll just saute that until our onions are translucent and nice and soft. We'll do that at like medium heat, medium low. Our onions and garlic are looking good, so we're going to go in with tomato passata or tomato puree. Season that with some salt, a little pepper, some dried oregano. I'm just going to turn that down to low, let it simmer. I'm also going to start preheating my oven with my baking steel. And if you don't have a steel, a stone is fine. You want that in the oven while you preheat to uh, 500 degrees. Now we got our dough rising, which it's almost doubled as you can see. It's pushing up our towel a little bit, and we got our sauce simmering. So let's put together our cheese. For our filling, we're going to use ricotta. Mozzarella. That is a whole milk, low moisture mozzarella, and half a cup oh, Pecorino Romano. Just give that a nice stir. We'll make our calzone. We'll flour our table liberally. Cut off pieces of our dough. Put flour on top. Start spreading. I like to use my fingertips and just press out. So, I have to pick it up, kind of stretch those edges out so the center doesn't get too thin. Now, I'm going to take some of my cheese mixture, just put that across half of it. Pepperoni. Now, I just rolled that out in a bunch of flour, so it's going to be hard to get the dough to stick to itself. So I'm going to take a little water, just tap the edges here. And that's going to help it seal. Put 
flip that over. Now we'll seal up our calzone. Just give a little pinches all the way around the edge. I'm going to bake these two at a time. So we'll do that again, and then we'll go in the oven. Oh, I got my pizza peel. I'm going to put a piece of parchment down on there. And then put my calzones on that. I'm going to bake these on the parchment. Because that ricotta's got a nice bit of moisture in there. I don't want that coming out onto my stone or my steel. So we're going to go in the oven like that. Time to go in the oven. So we're baked. Let's see what we got. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget, hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.